the blessed morning one and all this is your apostle elijah peter chambers once more with a pounded word hallelujah a harsh one and also an intriguing one and my topic this morning my story put behind bars for speaking thus say the lord and this is our 98th series and our theme born hallelujah to win i want to know how lucifer hallelujah will win in this land we saw the young man who came out last sunday praise god who sent up a video from from man mandeva manchester sending a death trip to our young ladies or virgins our children and everyone and i want to to expose to the commission of jamaica you're fighting a battle that is spiritual it is not physical yes you may apprehend this young man and put him behind bars but if you listen to the video very carefully he said lucifer needs sacrifice and he needs an experiment with the women the girls the virgin the children in this land and let me tell you i have been telling you that there are two organizations that are in this land occultic organizations that are in this land that praise god that is functioning from a demonic perspective the news declared that he is bipolar or he is a madman or is insane kura baba shai so by law legislatively you can't bring a madman to the court or charge him so you know that that praise god phenomena has come to an end but jamaica is under a death threat from the demonic the diabolical the satanic i told you that jamaica was sold out to the devil by the very leaders by the very leader of this land jamaica was given over to the satanic world and we will see more manifestation of individuals coming out and bringing launch an attack against the people of god then they will begin to launch an attack against the church the true and living God but the Bible declares that no weapon that form it against the servant of God shall prosper every tongue that rises against us in judgment is already condemned kata urubu shata da baba shai rubabo sata somebody need to understand that we serve a true and living God who never fails glory be to God and our scripture text comes from Revelation chapter 6 reading from 3 to 4 it declares and when he had opened the second seal I heard the second beast say come and see and there went out another horse that was red hallelujah a horse that was red and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth to take peace from the earth so the seventh seal has been opened we're talking about the second seal praise god which a red horse was seen symbolically praise god almighty to demonstrate the taking away of peace there will be no peace in a in the global world in countries internationally and nationally the peace of man my god men will be taken from them according to the opening of the second seal hallelujah and the bible said that and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth and they shall and they that they shall kill one another you know see what is happening in the world and there was given unto him a great sword hallelujah which demonstrate judgment which is symbolic to judgment we see where scriptures have been on full right before eyes a few days ago queen elizabeth ii hallelujah died and shook the global world the, the the monarchy was shaken with the death 
of Queen Elizabeth II. The next person who takes rulership, hallelujah, will help to expose the Antichrist. The Queen is dead now. The next person who takes up office will present the beast to the global world. Hallelujah. And the global world is heading into deep global famine. Hallelujah. To repeat to God, fiscal problems, economical problems. There will be famines all over the global world. Hallelujah. The book of Revelation chapter 6, 4 declares, speak of the red horse and power was given to him that sat thereon. Hallelujah. To take peace from the earth and that they shall kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Hallelujah. The sword is a Upon the global world, every knee must bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. I told us in one of our videos in 2020 that the mark of the beast and the Antichrist is already here. Redemption joy at night. Jesus is coming soon. And those who are still living in sin, run quickly because all of us will be judged. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter your status whether you are the queen of England the king praise God Almighty of England or the king of the monarchy or my God Almighty the president the prime ministers every very every knee shall bow every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord the second seal is exposing that wars and rumors of war there will be no peace with men or among men peace will be taken from men globally hallelujah thank you Jesus and trouble are ahead of the global world and God is knocking at the doors praise God of the global world knock and the door shall be open unto you seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and the Lord showed me in a vision that seven countries will be pushed will push the homosexual agenda satan is doing everything in his power to get the leaders my god almighty the most of these leaders that are presented in power hallelujah god says he will remove them from their kingdom the, the leader of the land asking the nation to mourn pertaining to the queen's death while Dana Lee Dallinson and other women and children and families have been have not been recognized you want the nation to mourn for the deceased queen I have no problem with the mourning for the queen what about our citizens who have been murdered my cat killed nepotized rukatada babashanda eliminated destroyed the family has been dismantled by your political and evil powers by your corrupt evil party who have murdered the people for speaking against your evil the people of this land should have two weeks of mourning for Dana Lee Dallas and the young girls the young boys who have been sodomized by the sodomites Rukatadababa who are missing who will you will have to give an account for the evil you brought and the people of this land repent and turn from your wicked ways hallelujah the more we see the manifestation of god's judgment folks are still about their personal personal sins i believe the people of jamaica understand the seriousness i don't believe the people of jamaica understand the seriousness of the death threat to our young girls, the young virgins, using them as a sacrifice. Hallelujah. There are two organizations in Jamaica who are representing Lucifer. Listen carefully to, the, to, the, to that video. Lucifer desire our women for an experiment. Hallelujah. We heard, we heard of the, the one, the new one world order that he is by 
we heard of the young man that is bipolar, which means that he has mental issues or he or he's mad. By law, you cannot bring a madman to the courthouse or change him. Hallelujah. There is a cover up with the satanic with the satanic world. Jamaica is sold out to the devil and it will be proven in days and months. Why would Lucifer comes out, hallelujah, say that he has legal rights and is desiring Jamaica, praise God, to worship Lucifer, hallelujah. He has legal rights to declare what he declared Lucifer because there was an agreement that was done internationally with these powerful men. My God, the leader of this land, have sold out Jamaica to the devil. The Lord reveals to me everyone speaking of Kevin Simmitt when it was the government set up the killing of a person in the church. They are the ones who murdered Kevin Simmitt fabricated everything making it look like he is uh, the culprit jamaica was given over to lucifer during the period of 2012 to 2019 i want the people of god to understand that lucifer has taken root cause of jamaica